Hi, Stronger Seniors, and Pringle Burnell here. And I'm going to be doing a 10 minute workout with you today. This is a great one to practice balance and we should be practicing that at least a couple times a week. <clears throat> so this is just a shorter video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and you can also just share it out to your friends and family. Um, it's a short workout and everyone I know needs to practice <laughs> balance. So you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, and then you'll know when there's new videos up. And we do have a member community that has all the full length videos and that is $2.99 a month. And we always uh, release those longer videos on that channel. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna have a chair nearby or a couch or even a countertop. Okay, and I'm going to just turn my chair <clears throat> so that I'm here and you can see what my feet are doing and what my hips are doing. But I would like you to be behind the chair wherever you feel comfortable to be able to hold on with both hands, right? So you can bring your chair in front. I don't need to see your feet. So parallel legs and we're going to align our hips, our knees and our toes in one line, hopefully. And we're gonna go ahead and just sit down and stand up. So starting with just a little hip hinge, and that is like sitting back a little bit, up. Sitting back a little bit, up. So when I sit back, I don't know if you can feel it, but these muscles here go on. So just take the time to not do a deep squat, but just get the mechanics of this where you drop that tail behind a little bit. Your weight's pretty much in your heels. Squat, just a little warm-up squat. Because really our balance should be felt from the center of our body, right? Not so much our toes or our arms, but if we feel that this area, powerhouse that Joseph Pilates calls it, is our center, right? Then we can always find our center and refine it, right? So now we're gonna work on ankles. So we're gonna actually roll up on tiptoe and down. So just rock your weight forward, come up onto your toes. If you haven't really worked your feet um, and your arches, strength of your ankles, this might be challenging, right? Just to do 10 of these. So we're gonna do about three more. And notice I'm taking my time kind of oozing them down so I have control over this the whole time. Okay, now just bend each knee and walk it out so you can see I'm just walking. Keeping those feet down on the floor, right? Here you are, having fun walking. <laughs> this is a great way to also warm up the feet. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and step back, alternating legs. So I'll Stand sideways, you can see. so come up close to your chair and step back, try not to drop that heel down, all right? Step back just on the ball of the foot, bend the knees and then push yourself back up. Step back, bend your knees a little bit. So it is a back lunge, but I'm not just kerplunk, dropping that heel down with no control, right? So I'm gonna keep my ankle engaged, stretch the foot. Stretch the foot. Little back lunge without kerplunk of that heel, right? Alternate, four more. You don't have to bend too low, but you can go further if you want. You can step back even further. All right, and last two, and last one. Okay, shake out those legs. Let's do that little walk. <laughs> it's a speed walk without going anywhere. <laughs> Good. Really getting those legs to be comfortable right underneath the center weight of our body, right? All right. Next one we're going to raise up on tiptoes is going to be first position ballet. Do you remember Ballet 101? Were you in that class with me? Because maybe not. <laughs> I was, I was, did take ballet, let's see, one year in college. So we're gonna do a little plie and then releve. 
That's what I remember. Okay, so working your ankles and your legs. And when you turn your feet out, you work the hips and squeezing, really the glutes, so squeeze those legs together and come up, plie, and up. All you true ballerinas can go up <laughs> and reach your arm up if you want, right? Down and up. And this is just a quick workout to practice our centering, practicing our balance, right? Let's do two more. And one more. These can be done anytime, right? So now this time we are gonna come close to the chair. We're gonna step back and we are gonna lower the heel. So for a stretch of your calves, do you feel that? If not, take it an inch further to get that calf to stretch. Now roll up on tiptoe and down. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can just hold on lightly with fingertips as we do this. And then we're gonna see if we can add a little reach, balancing. I'm just lightly holding onto this chair, right? Maybe one finger. I can, I can hang on if I need to, right? But really working here. Two and one. You probably can feel that all the way up that leg. Shake that out, or you can do your little prancing walk. Mm -hmm. to shake out. All right, let's go ahead and go back with the other foot. I'll turn this way so you can see. So step back and do press that heel down till you feel a stretch in the calf, so you might need to step it back. Hold that, and then let's just try up on tiptoe, down. Then let's try lightening our hold onto the chair. <laughs> but hang on if you really need to, right? And then let's try reaching the arm with the, with the uh, releve, right? <sighs> Keep your breath flowing. Up, down, three, down. Two, really strengthening those feet, and one. Good, and step that back in, and just do your little walk, walk, walk. Excellent work. Another thing we have to work is our outer hips, our hips here, but also the side glute muscles here on the side, so they, they help us. So if you can go ahead and put your hands here, and just touch the hips and then the side of your pelvis. If you lift up, like if you stand on one leg and you lift up the other leg, these muscles right here are holding the thigh bone and the pelvis together so you can balance, right? So that's why we wanna work them a little bit. So let's train them. So step, knee lift. Pull your tummy in a little bit. It's transfer, step, knee lift. So I want you to actually press into the floor. And this is really about transferring weight to that foot. So let's just go ahead and stick that foot to the floor. Feel that hip engage. Transfer weight and lift. Transfer weight. So you're kind of doing a little dip, stand. Dip, stand. And just practice this slowly because I'll tell you what, practicing balance quickly, thank you, is not going to teach our body enough. Certain things we need quick reaction time, but right now we're practicing shifting, right? Shifting weight. Push into the floor, pull the other leg up. Push into the floor. You can do this anywhere, right? You're standing in line at the bank. <laughs> They'll be like, is there something wrong, ma'am? Nope. I'm just pulling my knees up. <laughs> I'm just connecting with the earth on the other leg, right? Connect and pull. Okay, so let's keep those feet wide and we're just gonna swish our hips side to side. Loosen that up a little bit as we work them. All right, one more thing for us today to practice is we're gonna go center 
out. So we're going to do a little tilt. So your chair would be here, right? Okay, I'll stay here. And then we're going to tilt. Lift that leg up and tilt the body. Ooh. Lift this leg up and tilt the body, right? So tilt, tilt. You can have your arms out or you can hang your, onto your chair. Keep your knees slightly soft. Tilt, tilt. So we want to practice being a little off center. Yes, practice being a little off center. And then we can always kind of find that center again. Give me 10 more and we're done. Two, three again. Transfer weight and go slowly. <laughs> Five, six, seven. You can pretend you're flying away. Eight, nine, and 10. Open those feet up and swish those hips back and forth. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Good, everybody. We're going to stretch out just a little bit by lifting up and exhaling down and put one heel forward. Take a bow. Inhale up. And put the other heel forward and take a bow. And you can repeat that again if you like. And this has been your 10-minute workout on balance. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.